Alrighty, Goki Genyo everyone, the Starlight Let's Play is here, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally starting the Futarawa Pretty Cure Max Heart playthrough. This is the beginning of the Pretty Cure Let's Plays that we're going to be doing on this channel here. So, um, this is something that you all been waiting on, this is something that you all voted for. Uh, I've been waiting to play the first one for like... For like a while and honestly i always say that this is pretty much my second favorite um pretty sure ds game that i've ever played um the controls on there is really nice as we'll get into it i will get into the controls in the gameplay as well but um yeah uh let me tell you something like it's quite difficult to try to read um in japanese and um i think you know one thing that i want to point out that i am going to be talking through some of these cutscenes as well so bear with me here because i want to explain everything so um yeah i had to make sure i prepare for this playthrough here um as you can see that i'm using i'm using a different type of app in order to record as you can see there and i also had to turn up the volume there and basically this game right here well like I said, this game rocks. It's actually, I really enjoyed it so much. Um, I had to, like I said, I had to prepare. I had to make sure that I get the right emulator for the, for these games. Um, I gotta say, um, a huge shout out to my friend Oliver Bitty Blush for actually sending me these games. Um, without him, this playthrough wouldn't even start hap wouldn't even happen in the first place. But yeah, um, now that we got that out of the way, I think it's time we finally get into the game itself. Um, as you can see, we can choose between two characters, but once you beat the game, you can be able to lock, um, you'll be able to unlock Shiny Luminous. So you can choose either Nagisa or Hanukkah. Um, I'm gonna start the game off with Nagisa here, so, yeah. And you just gotta love that uh, transformation there. Uh, yeah. Um. You know, by the way, I had to like the little transitions there. There was pretty much like two messages that I had to like get through. But yeah. Um. Yeah. This is Futaro Wa the Cure. Um. The Great Battle of Power Rises. Power Awakens or Rises. Like I can't remember the full title, but I know exactly how it was. But yeah, um, this is a this is a side scrolling beat 'em up game. Uh, you're pretty much like fighting in 2D. Um, you press the A button in order, to, and you press the A button and the Y button in order to attack. Um, you press the B button to jump, and like at the um, use the D pad to move left, right, up, and down. So it's pretty much of a uh, side. Like I say, it's a it's a side scroller beat 'em up type of game. Um, doesn't really have any RPG elements, thank God. Like, um, not not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I am looking forward to the new game. I am looking forward to Scott Pilgrim making its return after over like I believe ten. I think it was 10 years, over 10 years, I don't remember, like, when the game came out. But yeah, Scott Pilgrim came out on the Xbox Live and places in the network, but unfortunately, um, they had to take that down, but this year, um, this year we're gonna be, this year they're gonna be re-releasing it, calling it the Complete Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Um, and yeah, I just saw the, um, I pressed the X button, and you can actually use a special move, but only when you have those hearts in the middle filled up. So you need to fill those up in order to use your special attacks. Um, as, as I said before, uh, as you can see on the left, you see Shiny Luminous along with Mippo and Mepple. Um, yeah, and you'll also see some pretty cute, um, pictures, posters that are like, Printed on the walls when the actual keep progressing to the game. Um, there are like a shit ton of types of uh, akinas. Some of these akinas can be um, this can range from like the like the big akinas that as you can see there, like, or the, like the small akinas. There are also bouncing akinas as well as you as you can see there. Um, and this game also has items that you can actually pick up on the ground. So if you have an ice cream, it'll like it'll um pretty much restore a bit of your health if you got a parfait however it'll store a shit ton of your health 
So you gotta make sure to like make you gotta make sure your health is actually um okay. Um, this game is pretty much of a cakewalk to be honest. As when I first played it, I played this game like four times. Um, yeah. Um. Uh, I would say the, uh, a nice way to also restore your health is that when you're knocked down, your partner can your partner can actually ca actually catch you and it will restore a bit of your health. So yeah, I will. Um, I think I gotta say like. Uh, I forgot to mention this game has like six to seven stages and each stage has pretty much um, two acts to it uh, th so think of it as think of it as like a Sonic the Hedgehog game think of it like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 you have like one stage with two acts here and each act has a has one strong Zekena and it, it will come out with an even stronger Zekena so yeah and as you can see right here I'm getting like I'm getting my ass kicked in this one like it's been it was, I would say it's been like over three years since I last played this game. I wouldn't say over three years, but like it's almost, it's almost about to be four years since I played this game. I played this game back in like 2016, in like December of 2016. So yeah, um, yeah, it's been like a very long time since I played that game. But yeah, um, the easiest way for you to try to knock these, um, knock these giants of cannons down with the health bars is you can actually use the special moves there. This is something that I would recommend. Um, be sure to be sure to hold on to your special until you get to the boss fight. You got to make sure you hold on to it, and I'm sure it will help you out a lot. So yeah, that was the first act of this game. Now we're on to the second act of the, um this level here. And uh, yeah, like I said, there's a parfait. It will restore a bunch of your health. And yeah. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty much the game there. I like I said, this is actually my second favorite. Now as you can see there, there is a kill white poster on the wall. And like yeah, you're gonna be running into most of these. There's also a put on poster along with a shiny luminous poster there. Yeah, this game this game is fantastic. Um I'm gonna be talking a bit more about the music, but like I will say for this, please try to at least try to look up the um Try and find the soundtrack of this game because it is phenomenal. I, I I cannot how can I describe it with words? It's it's actually pretty good. You really have to try and listen to it for yourself. But um yeah, that's pretty much the game there. Um like I said, there's also red zakenas there, I forgot to mention there. Um the red zakenas are a bit stronger than the original ones. So you gotta be careful with that. Like the original ones, as you can saw up there, they're strong, but not as strong as the red ones. And uh, yeah, the only and like I've said, the only way you can ever get these items is if um, as you saw those boxes right there, I just knocked down those bo that box. Those are item boxes. Once you um knock them, once you uh, uh, hit them, they'll break and they'll come out either an ice cream or a parfait or um. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's also a diamond there as well. You can also use that in order to um. You can use that in order to fill up one of the hearts. To your special so um the more hearts you get the more of it like the more hearts you get the stronger your special will um will be and yeah that's pretty much yeah you can see right there that there's a diamond right there well uh, yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much like the whole game that's pretty much it um yeah nothing else uh there's nothing else to say about it like I would say that I actually, like I said, this is actually my second favorite. Um, I know I'm repeating myself here, but like that's pretty much the whole game. That's how I can actually describe it. Um, I will say for the controls, it does seem pretty nice, especially for an emulator. Um, I probably was a if I if this was a Nintendo, an actual Nintendo DS, I would say the controls would be a lot better. But here it is perfectly fine. And a bit of advice here: if you're going to play these Nintendo, D these pretty good Nintendo DS games, please get the. Dr I would recommend this emulator. Please get five, get like ten dollars for your Google, for your Android, and buy the Drastic. Buy the Drastic app it is the best Nintendo DS emulator I have ever played in my whole entire life. Trust me, it's really good. And as you can saw there, there's a cute black poster there. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention about I. There's also something that I had to mention about this game. Um, in fact, let me just let me just say this for like at least the first, for like this game and your Pretty Kid Five Go Go. These those two are my favorite Pretty Kid games. The thing is, I don't even know. I don't even know who the hell are these like new villains here. Like, I know these are the killers that we've seen in the show, but like as for the new villains that are, the new villains that are behind it. Yeah, I really not that familiar with them because they're just, I'm pretty sure they're actually exclusive to their games. So yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I forgot to mention about this boss. So that boss will act, that will actually grab you, and you have to press the A button a bunch of times in order to like break free from his um from his grab. And um, that's that's pretty much the whole thing. That is pretty much it. Oh, and, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, um, it. Um, once you beat once you beat the second Zekina, they will launch their Extreme Luminario, and you have to keep pressing the A button in order to like boost up the attack so that you can actually kill them. So you can actually kill them once and for all. Um, I don't know what happens if you don't do that, but yeah, that is that is pretty much it. That is part one of who talked about Critic here, Max Heart. So yeah, that was the part one of this game. Uh, I forgot, there's also one thing I will mention that you also unlock mini games, which I'll show off in an extra video. So yeah, that was part one of Futarawa Pretty Cure Max Heart, The Great Battle Where Power Gathers. I gotta say, man, I am really, I am like really, really excited for this um, playthrough. I really can't wait to like continue on with this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, stick around for part two. We might actually have a guest commentator. Actually, our first um guest on the channel, which will probably a comment be a commentator for part two. Uh, who knows? Um, we'll have to find out soon. But like until well, yeah, yeah until then, it's a solo. Let's play signing out. Um, stick around for part two, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a like. Um, if you want to support this channel further and join the Starlight family, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you can get updated on videos that I upload. Also, my social media is down in the description below. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and you can follow me on Discord. I have a Discord server called the Starlight Community. And as well, you can also follow my SoundCloud. All of the links will be in the description below. Um, but until then, this is the Starlight Let's Play signing out. As always, go Kigenyo and have a star day, everyone.